This is a walkthrough of the Disney Hilton Head, a deluxe studio. This particular room is room 1125, as you can see there on the map that they gave us. And see, you even get little hand-drawn hidden Mickey there. All right, so this is a DVC uh, room. So you will have some amenities uh, and some amenities you won't have uh, based on other DVC rooms. This is not on uh, Disney World property, so this is in Hilton Head, South Carolina. So if you're looking at that, that's what this is. So we're going to start with the left of the door. You have a microwave, and down here you've got a mini fridge. If we come back up here, coffee pot, accoutrements for the coffee pot, toaster, mini sink. So that's nice. Lots of counter space. Coming up here, we've got some cabinetry. We'll open that up. Space to put some stuff in. Very nice. Close that. Moving on. Up top here, you've got some uh, plateware and cups. Down below. Extra garbage can, wash basin, paper towels. Another garbage can. That's the one thing I'm going to give uh, Hilton Head over other Disney properties. You're going to get a lot of garbage cans, which is really nice. So more storage there, and a utensil drawer with pre-wrapped utensils. All plastic, obviously. All right, swinging around this way, just have the floor. This is your entryway. It is, I want to say oddly shaped, but it's, it's kind of got this angular entryway. Uh, Electrical box right there. Have some artwork that is local to the area. Over here, you have the you know touch area. Pretty sure that's for your air conditioning and heating, so that's all contained there. That's the main area. We'll get to that in a moment because we're going to swing over this way because this. is your closet. And since this is a DVC area, or since this is a DVC room, uh, it is my understanding that they will not come in and clean every day. So that is why it is important that you have a little vacuum, dust pan, dust mop. Uh, here you do have a little, and I mean little, wall safe. if you're not getting much in there, uh, but it's there and it's nice that it's there. Fire extinguisher, extra blankets, extra pillows, some extra TP if you need it. There is a iron and ironing board over there. I will close that up. And we're gonna come into the bathroom. Uh, nice tile floor there. You've got a uh, toilet. You've got over your toilet for more accoutrements. So again, if we come over, you can fill that up. You get a hair dryer in there. There's where your tissues are hiding and some extra toilet paper. Here we've got the uh, artwork in the bathroom. Quite nice. Makes sense for the region. We're going to swing over this way and show you the sink area. It's a pedestal sink. And nice large mirror and well lit. Here you have your H2O products. Uh, do you remember at least the facial soap and the shampoo from when I stayed at the Grand Floridian DVC. Uh, here you have your shower with boat out bar. There's a look at the hardware right there if you're interested. There is a clothes drying line right there. The walls themselves are solid enough. No give. And you've got your Basin right there. Okay, so we're gonna back that out. On the back of the door, there is a very large full length mirror as well. Up top, you've got your exhaust fan, which does need to be triggered via a light switch. Coming into the main area, start off on the right here. You've got a security door, so if you are sharing, 
you can go next door. Again, here's a, another garbage can. There was one in the bathroom as well. Got some light switches there. There is your luggage stool. Right now, right here, we have dresser, because all this is more storage for you. Coming back here, you've got a large screen TV, a little work area, so two chairs, table, so you can see my computer's hanging out there. You've got uh, the lights. The lights all have this like driftwood feel to them. And again, you're in a coastal, you know, well, you're an island, so you're in a coastal environment, so that would make sense for theming. Here we got another light over there. Out that way is the patio. I will show you that in a moment because I want to show you over here some more theming with uh, driftwood lights and bringing it back, driftwood style picture frame. Here you have a two person couch that does pull out to a sleeper, so that's nice. Over here you've got a nightstand, again, more storage. Note, no clock in the room. Uh, you do have a telephone coming this way. You've got a queen size bed, haven't slept on it yet, so I'll let you know after our five day stay how this is. Uh, you can see the bed itself is themed, because here you go, more wood. And you come over here, light also has wood. Now, we're gonna swing all the way over to the door that goes outside. And I will give you one warning about this door. You can lock yourself up, because my wife and I did right when we first got here. Uh, the button itself should click when uh, you turn the knob. But when we went out, the button was depressed and the door was kind of ajar. So we just opened it up and shut the door and we locked ourselves out. Be aware of that. It was not a pleasant experience. But the cast members were very pleasant to uh, interact with in the ordeal. But with that out of the way, let's take a look and see what the porch looks like. So what you have here is a little seating area. It's actually much bigger than just a little. You have two rocking chairs. And this is a particular view from my room. So you kind of have a view of a little games area. Pretty sure this is the center courtyard. But if we swing it over this way a little bit, you get the marshland. Now, you have privacy walls on both sides. So you, you do feel like you're by your lonesome, which is really nice. Now, the one thing I will say is the flooring is definitely wood. I mean, it looks like it's concrete, but it's not really. Uh, and you can kind of hear it when you walk. It, it, it's not bad. It was a little unsettling when I first walked out because I thought I was getting concrete and it's it's wood. And the entire place is made of wood because obviously that's, that's what you get in this region. But that's the, uh, the walkthrough. Uh, like I said, we'll be staying here for five days. So after those five days, I will let you know uh, things we liked and things we didn't like and uh, help you make a decision if this is a place you'd like to stay. All right, as promised, a wrap up after being here for six nights, not five. We actually uh, were able to stay an extra night to beat a nor'easter that was coming through where we were traveling back to. So didn't want to mess with that. Went downstairs, asked if we could stay an extra night. Uh, they made it happen, so good on you, uh, Disney Hilton Head. So, uh, again, wrap up. There's going to be a few things, uh, not nitpicking, but a few things that were, eh, you know, a, a little uh, left to be desired. Uh, mainly in, in this area here. Uh, one, we're in a breezeway with this particular room. So your door hanger, you know, do not disturb constantly blows around, gets knocked off. It sounds like somebody's trying to break into your <laughs> into your room. It's a little off-putting at first. Was waiting to see if you could hear it. It was moving around a little bit. Uh, the other thing which is very difficult to see here, the, uh, the door is kind of crooked. So you can kind of see 
light. Actually, maybe you can see it up there. Uh, but you can see light, uh, kind of black, 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 and then it starts to get brighter. Now, the reason I mention this is because when we come over here and we try and lock the door, you actually have to pick up the handle. That's just hitting the, uh, the plate there. So it's not actually locking unless you pick up the handle. Um, kitchenette, awesome, used everything there, great amenities. Oh, the uh, garbage cans, extra garbage cans. This place has tons of them, like I mentioned before. Well worth it. It is awesome. Uh, rest of Disney properties should learn more garbage cans. Uh, over here, we have, this is the area for the heat and air conditioning. When the air conditioning kicks on, it is loud and, and kind of scary. Hoping you can hear that flapping around over there. But the air conditioner kicking on is kind of loud, a little uh, scary, especially in the middle of the night when you're not used to it, you're not expecting it. It's bang, and then it's like, okay, it's on, I get it. Uh, coming over into the bathroom, uh, not really much to talk about. Uh, bathroom amenities and all are perfectly fine. The one thing that I will talk about right here is the handle. Yeah, so cold, hot. This is a little weird. Uh, you actually have to counterclockwise it to turn it on and uh, leaving it over in the hot area like that does not actually mean that the water is going to be hotter it's actually going to be colder uh, so you actually have to counterclockwise it this way because i thought just leaving it on like that would be really really cold or really really hot and it wasn't it was kind of cold because you're turning off the water so that was a little weird but that's the only thing in the bathroom that i'm going to talk about except for backing up and saying that the uh, exhaust fan is actually up over the toilet area not that that was a air conditioning return uh, likewise i did not show you this is a thermostat nice updated electrical thermostat which is nice uh, also did not mention that there is a fan in here that you can turn on uh, bed really nice and comfortable not too soft not too hard kind of goldilocks same with the pillows did not try the pull out bed uh, now the one thing in this main area sorry for the mess we we're on our last day and packing up the walls and ceiling in this place. It's, it's weird because we've been to other Disney properties and they're, they're soundproof pretty good. Here, it's not. You're gonna hear your neighbors talking if they're really loud. And I mean, like really loud. Like I'm talking right now, you're not gonna hear me in the next room. We didn't hear the TV in the next room. So we had our TV normally on like four or five. I'm sure they didn't hear it, but our upstairs neighbors that came last night. So the extra day that we stayed to avoid the nor'easter kind of showed us that the floors, like we could hear them walking and it's just walking. It's not even like children running. You can hear them walking. You do hear children running as well, but just letting you know, the, the walls are kind of thin or at least the floors are kind of thin. The last thing to talk about in the main area here the light switches so the light switches are kind of oddly placed for where the lights are like this is a light switch that turns on this light over here and the fan you have your over the bed light located over there even with the assistance of a remote it's a little bit to reach so those are those are small very small um, concerns or things to think about uh, the deck out here very nice uh, just keep in mind that people can sweep stuff onto your deck if you're in between or on the bottom. But the deck, very nice. Had our breakfast out there every morning. I'm kind of showing part of the deck because that's where my wife is hiding. But overall impressions of the room, aside from those few, few caveats, like the, the door stuff over there, we got used to, we figured it out. The noisy upstairs neighbor, that was new. And I'm Happy that we were able to stay a little extra so that, you know, I could share that information with you. And that's all this is. I'm not nitpicking to just nitpick. I'm sharing as much information with you so that you can get an idea of what it would be like to stay in this particular room, which is 1125 at Disney Hilton Head Resort. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.